today's topic is aromaticity aromaticity has been discussed right from the 12th class so it's a very common topic but it's a very deep meaning very deep meaning and so we'll be discuss discussing the aromaticity under three head first is the isodesmic reactions and second is the nmr to nmr spectroscopy and third one is the hmo calculations that is huckel uh, arte principle के थ्रू जो सेकुलर इक्वेशंस बनते हैं उसके थ्रू जो हम इसको डिस्टेंशिएट करते हैं दीस थ्री डायमेंशंस आर देयर फॉर दिस टॉपिक नाउ फर्स्ट आइसोडेसमिक रिएक्शन फॉर दिस कैटलिटिक हाइड्रोजनेशन ऑफ बेंजीन एंड वेरियस साइक्लोहेक्सीन्स नाउ सी दैट दिस इज अ साइक्लोहेक्सीन मॉलिक्यूल एट द राइट द एंड ऑफ द बटन बॉटम नाउ वन एल्कीन वन डबल बॉन्ड हैज टू दैट एंड इट्स एनर्जी इज 28.6 So two double bond, but they are isolated. It is 57.4. But when they are conjugated, when cyclohexadiene is conjugated, becomes conjugated, then it then its energy is stabilized to some extent by an amount that is 1.8 kilocalorie per mole. But when it is when it becomes cyclohexadiene and the complete six pi electrons get delocalized. then its heat of hydrogenation decreases to minus 49.8 kilocalorie per mole so this means that it is safe by 36 kilocalorie per mole that is resonance energy is said to be the calculated resonance energy for benzene but this is a very general topic what we have learned from the very beginning right from the we started knowing about benzene and what is the difference between uh, cyclohexatriene and benzene why not we call it cyclohexatriene so this all depends on the delocalization energy in the second slide there is a some criteria for aromaticity for any compound to be declared as aromatic it means the compound has to be monocyclic it has to be a cyclic frame and it has unhybridized p orbital in a continuous cyclic system now it uh, this uh, we can write it that uh, alternate single and double bond type thing but it but this connotation when all the carbon constituting the aromatic ring must have unhybridized p orbital and that, that has to be continuous cyclic system in a continuous cyclic system then it's it has a broader meaning the third criteria it must be planar because if there is one have unhybridized p orbital then the uh, geometry must be sp2 hybridized so it must be having planar geometry or fourth criteria is very empirical and this says that uh, must obey the huckel's rule of aromaticity and this huckel's rule comes from the uh, hmo uh, rules hmo calculations we will see later on and includes 4n plus 2 pi electron matlab mm -hmm. the system the monocyclic the cyclic system which has unhybridized continuous p orbital and uh, which is planar and it fulfills the huckel's rule that is constituting 4n plus 2 pi electron in a continuous loop then for for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 right from 0 it can be aromatic like the case of cyclobutene methane so when we see this for this uh, benzene molecule this is the kekulé regenerating form or this benzene delocalization is there initially all cyclic conjugated hydrocarbons were proposed to be aromatic jo bhi cyclized the wo sabko aromatic mana jata tha so we have these two rest of the compound that is cyclobutadiene it cyclo octa tetraene now these two compounds are do not do not form the huckel rule they they satisfy all three conditions but they they do not fulfill the fourth condition that is the delocalization of the 4n plus 2 pi electron rather they constitute the 4n system and is 4 pi electron is there is the cyclobutadiene and 8 pi electron is there that is a multiple of 4n system and that's why and they are said to be anti aromatic Now there is a great confusion between anti-aromatic compound and non-aromatic compound. So uh, we will see it later on that how we call cyclobutadiene a perfectly anti-aromatic compound, and cyclooctatetraene is non-aromatic compound because they they cannot be cyclooctatetraene because it adjusts in the monocyclic loop, the planar framework. Uh, it is an anti-aromatic, but this planar framework is never found in the case of cyclooctatetraene. rather it, it's a tub like tub like molecule that's why the geometry adjusted and there is the reduction in the anti aromaticity and so this compound cyclooctatetraene it's said to be non aromatic 
you will see it on the john taylor distortion format also uh, which is the which is the beautiful explanation for the aromaticity and non aromatic compounds so for this hmo calculation the energy level for the different um, molecular orbital formed as a result of lcmo uh, lcao linear combination of atomic orbital resulting by this um, coulomb integral of alpha and this resonance integral that is beta so when we calculate it for mg is equal to 2 cos 2j pi upon n for j is equal to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 uh, plus minus n minus 1 upon 2 for n is when n is the number of membership of the ring is odd when it is odd then the total terms will last up to plus minus n minus 1 upon 2 and if that is even that is total membership is even then it is it lasts up to plus minus n upon 2 so by that calculation the lowest molecular orbital must be having alpha plus 2 beta uh, energy level alpha plus 2 beta energy level and followed by we will keep on calculating all these so this is the hmo calculation by that hmo calculation we can prove that aromatic stabilization is how much amount how much is being contributed as the de resonance delocalization energy now by second count that when we calculate the pi lepton energy and stabilization then we meet three conditions that if on the ring closure the pi electron energy of an open chain conjugated polyene like in the case of cyclo hexatriene 135 hexatriene uh, that is uh, if the if the if on ring closure the pi electron energy of an open chain conjugated polyene decreases that is increases in terms of beta as it is negative since beta is negative that is resonance integral is always negative so but, uh, if you keep on increasing beta, then the negative term will increase, that is energy will decrease, and the molecule is classified as to be aromatic. So the ring closure of 135 hexatriene is favored, and the corresponding cyclic molecule, that is benzene, is aromatic. But if a, a second condition, if on the ring closure, the pi electron energy increases, by pi electron in energy will increase only when there is decrease in terms of beta because beta is negative so if it decreases then it becomes more positive and the molecule is classified as anti aromatic the compound values the computed values suggest that the ring closure of 13 butadiene is associated with this with an increase in energy and hence anti aromatic this is one of the region one of the experimental region that cyclobutadiene sorry uh, cyclobutadiene is anti aromatic we will see it further to John Teller discussion, uh, description, uh, where it will be very much clear. Now the third is third condition: if on the ring closure, the pi electron energy remains the same, that is open chain, and the cyclized uh, delocalization, if they are constituent, if they are on the same same energy level, then the molecule is classified as non-aromatic, like the case of 1357 cyclooctatetraene. Now cyclooctatetraene, although it is having eight pi. 8, 8 pi electron, that is 4 double bond is there. So 8 pi electron, so it is a multiple of 4 in system. It should be anti-aromatic, but it is not aromatic since on the energy energy calculation that the pi electron energy remains the same and the molecule is classified as non-aromatic. Now see, this is the energy level diagram, HMO energy level diagram for this benzene. That is uh, pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 are degenerate. I told you that uh, for um, the membership, if the num membership of the poly polygon is even, then there is one bonding and one antibonding, one uh, one bonding orbital, one antibonding orbital, and rest orbitals are degenerate, doubly degenerate. So pi 2, pi 3 are doubly degenerate, pi 4, pi 5 are doubly degenerate. So six electrons will fill three bonding p orbitals, pi orbital. So six electrons are there, that is the delocalized 4n plus 2 pi electron is there in the case of uh, benzene n is equal to 1 so 6 pi electron will occupy pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 the configuration will be pi 1 raised to the power 2 that is 2 electrons will reside here pi 2 2 and pi 3 2 so this is this this is, a, this is an extremely stable arrangement that is aromatic stabilization so the third condition in the case of cyclobutadiene we see that uh, total number of electrons are 4 and the designated levels are that is one bonding, one antibonding, rest orbitals will be dege uh, doubly degenerate. And this doubly degenerate orbital falls on the alpha line, that is the non bonding line. Because only Coulomb integral is there that, that, that do not contribute either neither towards the bonding nor towards the 
antibiotic situation and so they do not constitute they do not result into any stabilization further so following the hund's rule the two electrons are in the separate orbital because they are at same energy the most stable is filled with an electron pair now see in the case of cyclobutadiene we see that in organic chemistry uh, this is the cyclobutadiene hmo calculation says that this is a triplet molecule it's a triplet molecule because plus half and plus half electronic spin and it gives rise to total spin multiplicity is equal to 3 so it's a triplet molecule so the molecule in the ground state in order to, it is triplet so it's a it's a inherently inherently strained or inherently highly energetic molecule and this is the region that it's very reactive cyclobutadiene is highly reactive so it goes for dr reactions and all that we will see later on now cyclobutadiene can be believed to be having total energy of all the electrons associated in this uh, framework hmo calculation for cyclobutadiene it gives rise to 4 alpha and 4 plus 4 beta unit which is the same as when we suppose that cyclobutadiene is composed of two ethene ions so two ethene unit means two multiplied by alpha plus beta those two electron resides over there and plus another ethene unit that is two alpha plus beta again so it also gives rise to alpha plus 4 alpha plus 4 beta is the same or two isolated double bond furthermore as these electrons occupy a high energy orbit compared to the bonding because they are non bonding so they are of course in comparison to bonding they will be high energy orbital they are particularly available for chemical reactions these two reactions what are unpaired at the alpha level they are responsible for uh, this reaction chemical reactions and they are also responsible since they are in the triplet state and that's why they are very much available for the photochemical reactions so cyclobutadiene has has a lot of photochemical reactions may give rise to some monomeric chemical reactions or photo photochemical reactions or dimeric photochemical reaction that also lies from this background so they are particularly available for chemical reaction experimental evidence indicates that cyclobutadiene is a rectangular now here comes the geometry of the molecule like in the case of cyclooctatetraene had cyclooctatetraene tetraene been planar and monocyclic then it would have been anti aromatic by the same count as the cyclobutadiene is but in the case of cyclooctatetraene it is more of a tub like it's a tub shaped and geometry adjusts some of the anti aromaticity and making that molecule not that anti aromatic but non aromatic in the case of uh, cyclooctatetraene so cyclobutadiene is an extremely unstable molecule with a very high lying homo highest occupied molecular orbital that is the triplet electrons in the alpha level and so cyclobutadiene is not only highly reactive but is also less stable than isolated diene it's less stable than isolated diene so by that pi energy calculation if the cyclized cyclized diene or poly is of less stability in comparison to the open chain then the compound is anti aromatic so this compound is declared to be anti aromatic now we will see some more we will look into some more details of the cyclobutadiene now cyclobutadiene is probably not a square had it been uh, it is it is providing all three conditions that it is monocyclic it is conjugated and provides all p pg pg um, uh, unhybridized orbital over all four electrons and it doesn't follow the it is planar of course and it doesn't follow the huckel rule only that criteria is there cyclobutadiene is probably not a square actually it has been theorized that due to its anti aromaticity that is highest occupied molecular orbital and resulting thereby the anti aromaticity it distorts its shape to a rectangle with alternating single and double bond to remove the degeneracy of the two non bonding p orbital similar to john taylor distortion that is the john taylor distortion that um, uh, um, degenerate orbital uh, distort in order to accommodate the symmetry you know in order to lower their symmetry so due to this anti aromaticity its geometry is distort gets distort because at a distortion ke baad kya ho raha hai it distorts to shape a rectangular with alternative single and double bond to remove the two non effect now see cyclobutadiene in the diagram itself the cyclobutadiene the homo is alpha at the alpha level that is one single electron is there 
Now, these two non-degenerate orbitals, owing to anti-aromaticity, their energy level gets disturbed. But these two orbitals are obviously degenerate as per the HMO requirement, but they are unsymmetrically filled. Unsymmetrically filled. This is paired up and this is now, now this becomes singlet. Now this molecule becomes singlet overall. So cyclobutadiene, instead of existing in the perfect square as as expected for the aromatic compound, it's it's a rectangular shape, shape where the single bond is 1.567 angstrom and the double bond, that is the double bond is 1.346 angstrom. And this is the case that group of orbitals pi 2 and pi 3, uh, although degenerate in the case of uh, HMO calculation, they, they are no longer dis, um, degenerate because of John Deller distortion okay, due to anti-aromaticity and this becomes, this compound becomes anti-aromatic. Now the reactivity of this cyclobutadiene that it further it dimerizes uh, this is the 2 plus 2, 2 plus 2 uh, um, uh, cycloaddition, 2 plus 2 cycloaddition, and this is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition on the right hand side, and this is the acrylate um, uh, methyl ester of uh, um, acrylic acid, and this gives rise to addition, 2 plus 2 addition further. So, in the absence of trapping reagent, now the trapping reagent, because the HMO calculation says, that um, cyclobutadiene is a triplet. A characteristic dimer is produced, which is the result of one cyclobutadiene molecule acting as diene and the other as dienophile. So it means that one diene is uh, providing its triplet energy onto the another molecule, and that's why it, it is affecting the Diels-Sutter reaction. This dimerization is an extremely fast reaction and limits the lifetime of uh, cyclobutadiene except at very low temperature because it's self dimerization uh, banjara hai. now one another class of compound which which just substantiate about this uh, cyclobutadiene is the borol now see the case of borol the diagram is here this is the boron boron is trivalent boron is trivalent and this pentavalent to uh, cyclopentane type of structure hai, uh, here we have only four reluctants, only four reluctants, so it has to be anti aromatic And this is being proved. So borol represent a class of molecule as metallols, which are heterocyclic five-membered ring. As such, they can be viewed as structural analog of cyclopentadiene. This is very much structural analog of cyclopentadiene or pyrol or furan with boron replacing carbon, nitrogen and oxygen respectively. They are isoelectronic with cyclopentadienyl cation. Isoelectronic with cyclopentadienyl cation. Now, cyclopentadienyl cation has also uh, four pi four pi electron system and comprise four electron. Although Huckel's rule cannot strictly apply to borol, it is considered to be anti-aromatic due to its having four pi electron. Now, the, the proof, this is not a theoretical thing, but when we when we prove it experimentally, then there is one measurement that is nucleus independence chemical shift, that is NICS. It's a very important tool in the NMR. When we discuss NMR, we will look into it. Uh, NICS, that is the nucleus independent, it doesn't depend which, which magnetically active nucleus we are talking about, but it, it defines the chemical shift with respect to when we any any probe magnetic active nuclei uh, we take the NICS analysis is a method of computing the ring shielding or deshielding at the center of a ring system to predict aromaticity or anti-aromaticity. Now the negative NICS value is indicative of aromaticity. Mind it's uh, it's uh, postulate that negative NICS value indicates aromaticity. And a positive value of is indicative of anti-aromaticity. Benzenoid hydrocarbons such as benzene, naphthalene, anthracene shows value of about minus nine to minus ten ppm. And heteroaromatic five-member rings show somewhat more negative values. That is, pyrrole minus fifteen point one on the delta scale, hyphene minus thirteen point six, and furan minus twelve point three. And the aromatic ions such as cyclopentadienide, where it has the 4n plus 2, that is 6 pi electron, cyclopentadienide minus 
and the cycloheptatrop uh, cycloheptatrienyl uh, uh, cation that is the tropelium cation minus 7.6 are also negative these all are negative and so they are aromatic and anti aromatic species including cyclobutadiene for cyclobutadiene it is plus 27.6 and for borone borol it is plus 17.5 so it is very much obvious that cyclobutadiene and uh, borol constitute the paramagnetic ring current we will discuss it when we will be discussing the aromaticity and the, the nmr then we will look into that thing there now hmo calculation but the same calculation for the benzene where we have the 6 pi electron and the 6 pi electron is the alpha plus 2 beta orbital comprises 2 electron and alpha plus beta orbital comprises 4 electrons so together uh, the total energy uh, huckel energy of the benzene system is 6 alpha plus 8 beta but when uh, this 3 the huckel energy of benzene it suppose that only 3 ethene units are calculated for it in the classical way then it must give rise to 6 alpha plus 6 beta so it is stabilized benzene is stabilized by two beta unit that's the hmo method predicts a special specialized stabilization of benzene and the difference of two beta is called the delocalization energy or the resonance energy and so this is the two beta unit two beta is equal to 36 kilo kilocalorie per mole that is the it has been calculated by a number of methods and there has been a lot of conjectures in the results that uh, by this method by isodesmic reaction different computational chemistry and isodesmic reactions are performed there we come across that there is slight difference but it but it nearly nearly can be zeroed at this 36 kilocalorie per mole as the delocalization energy or the resonance energy for benzene now the, the second uh, second uh, third rather third description for this aromaticity that is nmr and uh, aromaticity that how nmr assist to predict some molecule uh, to be aromatic the uh, nmr spectroscopy provides an experimental tool capable of assessing aromaticity first second aromatic compounds exhibit a diamagnetic ring current now we must come across some this diamagnetic ring current that is diamagnetic shift and the paramagnetic shift we will look into it now aromatic compound exhibit the diamagnetic ring current Qualitatively, this ring current can be viewed as a result of migration of delocalized electrons under the influence of magnetic field in an NMR spectrometer. Now, what happens that if, say, that uh, cyclohexane molecule is very much like this, is the cyclohexane molecule that, and you are downward point finger is the direction of the uh, field applied, then the 6 pi electron, that is the valence electron that is valence electron that is the labile electron six pi electrons are labile now they start circulating in a plane perpendicular to the field applied magnetic field applied and on the count of the circulating electrons under the influence of external magnetic field they generate induced magnetic field which is further perpendicular to the circulating electrons so two times perpendicular gives rise to magnetic anisotropy in the molecule and the ring current results in large magnetic anisotropy in the aromatic compounds these induced ring current gives rise to total magnetic field that is opposed to the direction of the applied magnetic field and the nuclei in a region above or below the plane of the aromatic ring are shielded by the uh, induced magnetic field and appear at relatively high field in the nmr region now what happens that if you, if a certain molecule certain nuclei is shielded what do we mean by that that it is not gaining the a perfect uh, magnetic field what is what is being applied so the observed magnetic field is very very less so in order to increase it what we will have to do that you will have to tune up the uh, uh, field strength if field strength if you will increase the field strength then the normal precessional frequency of that particular shielded uh, magnetically active nuclei will increase and it will match the oscillator's frequency and that's why it it goes up it goes up that opposed to the direction of the field now nuclei in a region above or below the plane of the aromatic ring are shielded and these shielded nuclei absorb high field in the nmr spectrum whereas nuclei in the plane of the ring that is which nuclei that nuclei in the plane of the ring the, the atoms bound directly to the ring occur at downfield positions because they are in the deshielded zone they gain the magnetic strength of the magnetic field very 
very accurately and very in in as compared to that uh, in the uh, shielded region shielded region and so their their processional frequency is quite uh, high and so they match the oscillator frequency very easily and that's why they are observed at downfield and this is the anisotropy that is studied under the nmr and that declares the uh, aromaticity of a nucleus on the basis of RM, uh, um, nmr now nd aromatic compounds have a paramagnetic ring current a paramagnetic ring current because if you if you take the case of uh, the same uh, cyclobutane cyclobutadiene molecule then the shielding is not shielding shielding is on the periphery rather in the core unlike the case of uh, benzene so this is the paramagnetic ring current and i'll show the opposite effects and all effects will be opposite that is the at the core if there is any magnetically active nuclei at the core of the molecule then it will have it will be uh, upward shift downward shift and the at the periphery that will be at the higher field up field now this is the diagram for this magnetic anisotropy in the case of this is the benzene molecule this is the downward downfield shift of aromatic proton so we have two zones actually uh, two zones that where, wherever we have this proton at the periphery they lie in the molecular plane and that's why they are very much in the p shielded zone and that's why they absorb very easily at low field that is the downfield and this is the downfield that is six uh, from perhaps 6.8 to uh, 7.8 is the magnetic all magnetic uh, aromatic nucleus are identified in that region in the um, in nmr spectroscopy now let us take the case of we discussed the case of cyclobutadiene that is that was um, uh, four anuline that is four four anuline is the monocyclic compound is monocyclic hydrocarbon is called anuline so four anuline we discussed we discussed six anuline that is the case of benzene now we are switching over to cyclooctatetraene but we have already discussed some details of this cyclooctatetraene that is the eight anuline and eight anuline by uh, it satisfies all criteria all criteria um, uh, of uh, uh, aromaticity except the huckel rule because it has four um, it has eight pi electron that is the four double bond is there and so it corresponds to foreign system and foreign system sense, hence it is anti aromatic it should be anti aromatic but i have proved it that it is non aromatic instead of anti aromatic by the by what count we will take into account further now see this the this is the isodesmic reaction uh, which is the cyclo octane at the very bottom in cyclo octane its energy is there when diene conjugated has cyclo octadiene conjugated then its energy is there and when triene is there then its energy is there but when it becomes cyclo tetraene it's completely conjugated so in the case of benzene when it's completely conjugated then its energy got down but in the case of cyclooctatetraene its energy is 98 uh, kilocalorie per mole 98 kilocalorie per mole when the conjugated uh, cyclooctatetraene it's 72 minus 72.4 uh, for this diene conjugated diene it's minus 49.8 so it means that delocalization is not causing stabilization of this cyclooctatetraene so it means that it is definitely not aromatic because delocalization doesn't lead to uh, it satisfies all the criteria of this aromaticity but delocalization doesn't uh, doesn't stabilize it and so this is not aromatic now this is this uh, this cyclooctatetraene is non aromatic it's a non aromatic compound because real times planar cyclooctatetraene is not found is not even by xrd uh, experiments so it means that it is readily isolable and chemical reactivity is normal for a polyene and the xray structure determination of the compound shows it to be tub shaped now this is tub shaped lot of chemistry is involved here in the cyclooctatetraene <coughs> now it is tub shaped and therefore it's uh, therefore it is not a planar system on which huckel rule applies because huckel rule is supposed to apply on the planar system it is no longer planar see in the diagram uh, this is the tub shape relative energy is zero when it is planar its energy is 10.6 and when it gets delocalized that 8 pi electron gets delocalized then its energy becomes 14.7 kilocalorie per mole that is energy is increased so obviously increased it means it, it will try to open up open chain form open conjugated polyene 
will be more stable as compared to the cyclized one and that's why this is anti aromatic by that count if it is planar but it is not planar it's for sure and if it is not planar that it is tub shaped then then it is non aromatic because anti aromaticity has to be has been cancelled out by the geometrical adoption of some double bond now see the case of this tub shaped molecule in the tub shaped molecule we have this four structure at the bottom here we have the ring inversion in this case ring inversion is there this is sidha tub and this is ulta tub okay another term we have both the sidha tub but here we have the bond organization has been changed bond organization has been changed. so we have two type of situations in the tub in the substituted if we take the aromaticity taken by count the aromaticity of substituted 1357 cycloocta tetraene then the ring inversion itself says that the bonds are localized mind it bonds are localized ring has been flipped like in the case of cyclohexane chair form one chair form is flipped to another chair form or that is the non superimposable part so this this ring inversion this is the ring inversion doesn't lead to the migration of the bond but in the case of bond shift bond shift we have the delocalization part is there so we have two forces acting on it rather two forces acting on the anti aromatic char uh, character of this cyclooctatetraene one is the ring inversion that is predictive of the localized type of bonding ring inversion means localized type of bonding that is ring flipping is there bond is not disturbed now this bond shift is the delocalized part that is bond is getting delocalized so these two two contradictory forces have forced this anti aromatic planar uh, d4d cyclooctatetraene molecule to acquire a geometrically more adaptable tub shaped molecule and this has some uh, all some substituted uh, methyl substituted cyclooctatetraene has some beautiful nmr results what we have what i have not incorporated in my presentation because it would have been bahut zyada lamba chauda ho jata that's why the case of next case is uh, that of 10 aniline now 10 is the number of respond to 4n plus 2 system 4n plus 2 system now <clears throat> what happens that larger anulenes if you increase keep on increasing the membership of the anuline monocyclic anuline means monocyclic larger anulenes permit the incorporation of the trans double bond into the ring its geometry is interfacial angle or the interbond angle interfacial angle rather it's so large that it can accommodate the trans double bond otherwise in the lower geometry trans double bond cannot be accommodated uh, incorporation of trans double bond into the ring and isomeric structures are possible beginning with 10 anulene according to huckel's rule 10 anulene would be aromatic if it were planar had it been planar if the planar hota to aromatic hota because ye it satisfy all the four criteria for aromaticity however all the 1 3 5 7 cyclo uh, deca pentai pentaene isomers suffer serious steric strain that prevents the planar geometry from being adopted the sub me koi na koi strain hai now see these molecules see this molecule this is the boat form in the beach mein dekhna ye jo boat boat form hai it's it's double bond all double bonds are z of z symmetry in this twisted only one only one medial bond is trans rather all bond rest all bonds are uh, cis that is z in this in this decaline type situation decaline or naphthalene type situation we have this all Z E Z E Y H वाला Z E Z E Z Z E Z Z E now this 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 one form and one is the heart form heart shaped form so out of this the what is the requirement of Huggel's rule that it has to be planar that if it is planar then it has to acquire all Z isomer is required by the geometry to have a bond angle of 144 degree to maintain its planarity if if uh, the in the case of a uh, 10 aniline if all double bond has to be z in order to make it planar then its bond angle will have be will have to be 144 degree that is interfacial angle to maintain planarity 
and would therefore be destabilized by distortion of the normal trigonal bonding that is trigonal bond angle is 120 degree isse wo bahut zyada disturbance ho jayega 144 angle ko adjust karne mein the most stable structure is the twist bond that is the twist where only one bond is uh, trans so as described earlier ki larger the annulene larger the size of the annulene it can incorporate one at least one trans double bond and therefore the 10 annulene having a huckel number having a huckel number all its forms cannot be said to be aromatic only the twisted form has some residual stability therefore the destabilized by distortion the most stable structure is the twist form that is the e and all the rest z z z z isomer this isomer also has the closest agreement between calculated and observed nmr value now after that now in the case of same 10 10 annulene so what is there in the first case in the first case where we have this um, all z except now two two trans double bonds are there we have the steric repulsion between trans annular hydrogen trans annular hydrogen steric repulsion between trans annular hydrogen now the molecule is planar it can it ha- it can have some stability but the steric that may they, they fall within the wanderwall region and that's why their steric contribution becomes large and so its aromaticity is lost in the case of this but when we lock these two hydrogen by some methylene group like in this slide we lock these two hydrogen by some methylene group then this molecule becomes aromatic now here h and h jo methylene ka jo dono hydrogen hai now see the beauty of this um, um, uh, example the nmr spectrum of the compound shows a diamagnetic ring current ये वाला स्टेबल नहीं था टेनोलिन के केस में ट्विस्टेड वाला था अब इसमें क्या हो रहा है कि जो दिस एनिमल स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड शोज अ डायमैग्नेटिक रिंग करंट ऑफ द टाइप एक्सपेक्टेड इन द एरोमेटिक सिस्टम द एन आई सी एस कैलकुलेटेड इज माइनस सेवनटीन पॉइंट सेवन दैट इज न्यूक्लियस इंडिपेंडेंट केमिकल शिफ्ट जो है दिस कंपाउंड फॉर दिस कंपाउंड इज माइनस सेवनटीन पॉइंट सेवन प्लस वाइल द सिस्टम इज नॉट कंप्लीटली प्लेनर ये पूरी तरह से प्लेनर नहीं है ऑल द कार्बन आर नॉट प्लेनर this uh, at least the bridged one uh, it appears to be sufficiently close to provide a delocalized 10 electron system that is a stabilization energy of 17.2 kilocalorie per mole has been obtained on the basis of experimental heat of hydrogenation reaction ke aadhar now another molecule is the 12 aniline 12 anoline uh, 12 is further a foreign system that is non huckel number and that's why it has to be anti aromatic so so far i have read in the large number of books anti aromaticity is specific for cyclobutadiene it's nowhere written for a uh, higher member of higher foreign system just because of the fact that higher aniline becomes geometry sensitive because they can accommodate some trans bond and uh, in order to in order to give give some distorted shape of the monocyclic poly so z e z e z e double bond geometry shown in this structure the structure spectrum reveals a paramagnetic ring current remember paramagnetic ring current is just opposite the case of aromaticity paramagnetic ring current the opposite from what is observed for the aromatic system and this feature is characteristic of the foreign aniline and has been useful in characterizing aromaticity or lack of it in anilines a 14 aniline is further a huckel number 14 aniline it's a huckel number 4 in plus 2 for n is equal to 3 the spectrum also reveals a significant diamagnetic aromatic ring current the internal hydrogen that is c3 uh, if you start um, numbering this uh, this pyrene skeleton then you can number it from head that is 1 and followed by your next right and keep on keep on doing this 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 clockwise then you will find that there is the ring 3 6 10 and 13 these four hydrogens are very upfield upfield means their larmor processional frequency are very very shielded shielded proton four protons are highly shielded so they are going down field they are going further shielded in the further shielded region than pms also and that's why it is minus 0.61 ppm the interconversion of the two forms these two forms are there 
uh, in which um, we have here we have this um, two tra two three four uh, some one of the only one bond is trans rather all bonds becomes cis in the interconversion so this uh, the interconversion of the two form involve a configurational change from e to z at least one double bond at least at one double bond and the energy of activation for the process is very low that is 10 kilocalorie per mole so this rapid interconversion is there so there are some derivatives of pyrene which which speaks a lot about the uh, aromaticity of 14 anuline and this is the this is the case of this uh, 14 anuline where we have these two methyl group above and below the plane of the molecule as described by the thick line and the dashed line and when there is we have the electrocyclization electrocyclization is there uh, in the photochemical as the photochemical reaction and this makes the 4n plus 2 system 1 plus 2 electrocyclization gives rise to that is uh, ring closure so it gives rise to a upar gaya aur ek niche aaya aur ye 14 electron 14 element no electron hai that is that becomes aromatic 14 electron system this compound is very that is four major two dimethyl pyrene ban raha hai that is aromatic now here in the, here in this case the next molecule here we have the 16 uh, 16 pi electron that is 3 plus 3 6 uh, and 7 and 8 8 that is 16 electrons are there but if we if we create if we create if at in one of the reaction in one of the reaction if there is that in the double bond if there is a double bond at the very core that is the red red line is there then this compound becomes aromatic it becomes 14 electron at the periphery and this becomes aromatic so 16 anti aromatic system can be transformed transformed into uh, 14 electron aromatic and so this is the pyrene system which we can discuss now there are many 14 electron system in which we have this uh, many polycyclic compounds are there this compound we have already discussed that is the dimethyl or di substituted dimethyl now another compound is um, this uh, anthracene type molecule anthracene type molecule it's a type molecule because this is the methylene group this is the methylene group both methylene group are locking the cyclohexane part uh, from the same side they are upward and one is going upward another is going backward okay that is the locking so sin 3 that is 3 teen do 5 do 7 that is 14 pi electron teen do 5 do 7 14 pi electron sin 3 and anti 3 out of these sin 3 is said to be more aromatic on account of the fact that it is similar this this is similar to this slide this slide this is similar to this slide where we have locked the in transannular hydrogen in order to uh, in order to uh, have, uh, in order to unlock the uh, interaction of transannular hydrogen we have blocked this through methylene group uh, similar is the case here that we have this syn3 and nt3 syn3 provides maximum planarity uh, in addition to other requirements of the huckel's rule that is huckel number is there 14 so it this, this syn3 is more aromatic in comparison to nt3 like in the case of the similarly this is the phenanthrin type uh, skeleton phenanthrin type interaction uh, skeleton where one methylene locking both methylene locking are on the same side and one is upward and another is backward so this the same side sin sin locking provides maximum uh, planarity and that's why this is more uh, aromatic in comparison to the trans one this nt nt three locking our next number is uh, 18 anuline 18 anuline now 18 anuline offers a particularly significant test of huckel rule significant test of huckel rule the internal cavity internal cavity in the 18 anuline is large enough to minimize steric interaction between internal hydrogen in a geometry that is free of angle strain uh, 18 anuline is so large that it can it cannot induce the six hydrogens to undergo steric van der Waal interaction between themselves and that's why this 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 geometry is very much fine very much accommodating and this 18 anuline is further a uh, huckle number uh, satisfying all criteria of this um, huck, um, aromaticity the nmr spectrum indicates an aromatic diamagnetic ring current the chemical reactivity of the molecule is also justified justify its classification as to be aromatic 
Now the substituted. Now if these hydrogens, six hydrogens, one, two, three, four, and five, six, if they are logged in a fashion, logged in a fashion by methylene groups, there are also examples of 18 adenine system constructed around a saturated central core. Central core, the hexagon center may have, that is sp3 hybridized, mind it, sp3 hybridized. And the ring current is induced by the peripheral, peripheral 18 pi electrons uh, core, such as in the compound four. In this compound, the internal protons at a, are at very high field. I feel TMS se niche chala gaya, minus 6, se, minus 8, that is the maximum, dish, maximum shielding. Whereas the external protons are highly downfield, that is 9.5 ke upar chala gaya, chala gaya, that is what downfield gaya. And this is the, this is, this gives rise to uh, aromaticity and that is henceforth the magnetic anisotropy. Now the next compound is the Kekulin. Kekulin, the jo Kekule katha structure, that Kekulin. Uh, Kekulin seems best represented by a structure that emphasizes the aromaticity of alternating rings, similarly to the structure of phenanthrene. Now see, such a structure could take it, say, so phenanthrene ka jo 19 position hai. Phenanthrene is, phenanthrene is forming a loop, it's forming an anuline. So this is Kekulin, aromaticity that is the stabilization or the ring current, whatever that is induced by the presence of the benzene ring, that is three and three, six, Benzene ring, ring is there, and that's why it has some residual stability of this capulene molecule. Next is the class of fullerene compound, that is 616. Fullerene is a spherical form of carbon that is produced by uh, the process such as laser vaporization of graphite. And graphite, as we know, that is um, uh, it's an element of carbon uh, in contrast to diamond, which is very brittle, very hard. And graphite is really stably because it has sp2 hybridized. The structure consists of hexagons and pentagons corresponding to the pattern of a soccer ball. So calculated chemical shift parameters suggest that five membered ring are anti-aromatic. Mind it. Five membered ring are anti-aromatic, whereas hexagonal rings are aromatic. Thus, it appears that fullerene is a delocalized molecule, but with both stabilizing and destabilizing components, which are partially compensating in terms of stabilization energy. Now, we have some charged rings or charged molecules, which gives rise to aromaticity. But before that, we should, we should, uh, we should uh, look into some uh, orbital diagram for the charged molecule. any orbital diagram. So we will come to this slide later on. First, let us discuss this aromatic cation. So what cations are aromatic? Of course, this cation given is uh, anti-aromatic. It cannot be aromatic because it has four, four pi electron. Now, in this case, it is cyclic. So it goes by the first rule. It's planar, goes by the second rule. It's conjugated because the plus charge, carbocation here is this at this position is also sp2 hybridized so this is a complete loop of sp2 hybridized that is one unhybridized empty orbital is there that's the pink color in the pink color and it doesn't constitute the huckle number so it's anti-aromatic of course anti-aromatic but the four electrons four electrons are there and they are delocalized throughout the frame throughout the frame so this leads to paramagnetic ring current in this case but if we take the case of aromatic anions, it's a vital picture. Then in the case of aromatic anion, that is, this is very much aromatic because this is cyclopentadienide anion in which it has, um, it has a six pi electron because four electrons are constituting from this carbon p orbitals and one, one p orbital, an hybridized p orbital is having a pair of electrons. And that's why it satisfies that it is cyclic, it is planar, it is conjugated and it satisfies the Huckel's number, and so this compound is cyclopentadienide uh, anion is aromatic. Now back to uh, this slide. Now here we have to just look into the fact that uh, out of these two, A and B, cyclopropene cation satisfy the Huckel's number. All are conjugated. These all molecules are conjugated. Suckles, uh, satisfy the Huckel's number for n is equal to zero. That is gives rise to two electrons. But in the case of B, it has four electrons. So it's a huckle number, it's a non-huckle number. So 
uh, foreign system, so it's anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. Now this is dipositive, cyclobutene, cyclobutene dipositive. It has two pi electron, two pi electron. Hence it is aromatic. Cyclo, cyclobutene dianion. It has six pi electron. It is aromatic. This system, it has four pi electron. E, it's a anti-aromatic or non-aromatic. Here, here we have the case of F that is cyclopentadienide ion that is six pi electron, hence aromatic. This, this is cycloheptyl trinyl cation that is tropelium cation. Now all carbons, all seven carbons are sp2 hybridized. The plus charge is delocalized throughout the system, and that's why this is six pi electron. For six pi electron, it satisfies Huckel's rule, so G is also aromatic. Now this this is eight pi electron. H is eight pi electron, and so it is. Uh, anti-aromatic or non-aromatic larger geometry is there that's so, so it's better to call it non-aromatic so this is i that is the cyclo octa triene dication so it becomes it becomes a, a six pi electron it becomes a, a six pi electron and dipositive so it is aromatic now this is dianion it's a huckel number it's further aromatic. This is art, though thus is further aromatic. Now, see this reaction. See this reaction. Now, the product is a perfectly crystalline substance. Perfectly crystalline substance. That when, when this um, cyclopropene, all chlorine derivative, is subjected to reaction with antimony pentafluoride, then it gives rise to. Uh, a crystalline substance. Now, crystallinity means that the cation is cyclopropene cation, which is uh, which has aromatic stabilization, and that's why uh, it is very much stable, and that's why its physical state is crystalline. Now, the same same reaction is there here. Now, in the case of um, cyclobutene derivative dichloro, here we have we get the di dication stuff. Dication means two. Um, uh, two pi electron system and it's aromatic and it, this has been isolated. Now these two orbital diagram has we have already done. Now this is the case of uh, cyclopentadiene. Cyclopentadienide ion is one of the most acidic hydrocarbon known with a pKa of 16. It's a very notable point. Now cyclooctatetraene, when it is reduced by an alkali, alkali metal to its dianion. Then, then this becomes aromatic. The dication, sorry, the dication derived from 1357 tetramethyl cyclooctatetraene is formed at minus 78 degree. Yeah, cation is uh, mis, uh, misprint actually dianion hona uh, at this reaction. But both the proton and the carbon NMR spectra indicate that the ion is symmetrical, diamagnetic species, and chemical shift are consistent with the aromatic anisotropy. At about 20 degrees Celsius, this dication undergoes a chemical transformation to a more stable diallylic cation. Now, this is about this. This is about this cation because cyclooctatetraene dication means it has six pi electron, and six pi electron is a Huckel number, delocalized Huckel number. So it 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 undergoes um, um, it undergoes uh, transformation to diallylic cation. This is the diallylic cation which is formed here. Now, aromatic dianion, so this is cyclooctatetraene, 2NA, it, 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 it gains two electrons of the, this, from this alkali metal, and two electrons are to be occupied in this orbital, cyclooctatetraene, making it all bonding, making it uh, cyclooctatetraene. This compound is foreign system, so it is aromatic, anti aromatic, it is tub shaped. Uh, of course, cyclooctatetraene anion, it is aromatic. Di and ion, it is aromatic and it is planar. Its uh, NMR is 5.56, its NMR is uh, minus 6.75. Minus has been uh, lost here. Okay. Next is C. Uh, this is the case of pentaline. This is the case of dihydropentaline. Dihydropentaline. And when this dihydropentaline is uh, treated with butyl lithium, two equivalent of butyl lithium. Then it gives rise to uh, pentaline dianion. 
Now this pentanyl dianion has some aromatic stabilization. By this count, aromatic stabilization is there. Dihydropentylene, pentylene, pentylene two plus two four. Uh, that is eight pi electron system. But the dianion, pentylene dianion, becomes aromatic. Now next is the case of uh, homo aromaticity. Now homo aromaticity is a term used to describe systems in which a stabilized cyclic conjugated system is formed. By by passing one saturated carbon, like in the case of this uh, cyclo octa cyclo octa triene, in the case of the cyclo octa triene, there is one methylene group, and which is the proximal to it is carbocation. So if you raise this uh, methylene group from the plane, raise the methylene group out of the plane, then it becomes cyclo octa trienyl cation. And cyclohecta heptatrienyl cation becomes uh, aromatic on account of it is having six pi electron, and so this this uh, provides the aromaticity of the ring because only one of the saturated carbon is out of the plane; rest are in the plane of the molecule, and that's why ring current is induced. Cyclic conjugated system. Now NMR spectrum of this di cation because it undergoes ring flip. It undergoes ring flip. Shows that proton A and proton B, proton A and proton B sharply have some sharp different chemical shift because proton A in the first diagram has fallen in the shielded region of the diamagnetic ring current induced by the uh, cyclohexatrienyl cation, and here the proton B is in the shielded region in the next diagram. So proton A is 5.8 ppm upfield of proton B. Five on the A, indicating the existence existence of diamagnetic ring current. So if they are absorbed, if they have different chemical shift, then it is, itself speaks about their um, B shielding shielding effects or magnetic anisotropy arising out of this cycloheptatrienyl cation uh, ring current, diamagnetic ring current. Now we have uh, aromaticity of fused ring system, uh, like the case of uh, we will be taking into account the HMO calculation. Uh, HMO calculation. Uh, uh, now see, when we compare the case of uh, HMO stabilization for benzene is two. So when naphthalene is there, then since two benzene units are there, although fused, so it should be two plus two that is equal to four, but it is less than four. So here anthracene, the case of anthracene, it is two multiplied by three is equal to six, but it is less than six. That is five point three point three one. So in the case of naphthacene, it is four. Uh, so it is four times two, that is eight, and but it is quite less than eight. Okay. So it means that uh, it's not it's not the additive property of the benzene nucleus that it will keep on adding the benzene units in this fashion. So there is the HMO calculation says about that these rings are these these compounds generate the aromatic ring current in the NMR. But they are they have aromatic stability, but that aromatic stability is not that empirical that to just keep on adding the benzene unit. So, in the case of phenanthrene, HMO calculation it says that it is 5.44 phenanthrene. But when we see now see the contrast of this phenanthrene with anthracene, anthracene is 5.31, and phenanthrene is 5.44. It means this that. Phenanthrene is more stable in comparison to anthracene because in anthracene there is only one in this given configuration only one beach ka jo ring hai that is only providing the aromatic loop that is a ring current rest jo hai they are they are just just using up the unhybridized orbital in order to compensate or to generate or contribute whatever amount of aromaticity to the main unit but in the case of phenanthrene the two side rings the two side rings Are completely aromatic. Anthracene में केवल एक ही था यहाँ पे कि दोनों ring aromatic है and only one double bond is there that is uh, that is conjugated but that is left for a chemical reaction that is nitrogen position is there. So this is five point four four. So anthracene is more stable in comparison to anthracene, of course. Mm -hmm. Now five point four four. But when we add one triphenylene, in the case of triphenylene, so one benzene unit is being added. That is. Now it's become one benzene unit is being added. That is two added to two. HMO value for benzene is two, so that is seven point four four. But it's very much less than seven point four four. But although close to it, 
This is the case of pyrene where the HMO um, stabilization is there. Uh, this is the 14 by system and 6.5. And this is the perylene. Perylene this is the perylene molecule uh, where we have this uh, HMO calculation gives rise to the stabilization equivalent to 8.24. And this is butylene. Butylene 1.66. Butylene is 1.66. This is not that aromatic, not that stabilized. Pentaline, pentaline is further unstable, but its dianion is highly stable. Adulene, adulene, it's an inherently polar compound. We will see it in the coming slides. Adulene, we will discuss the aromaticity of adulene, but it has some considerable stability, 3.25. And heptaline is 3.61. This is a further stabilized because it may lead to at least one by polarizing one of the double bond, it might give rise to a uh, cycloheptatrienyl unit in, at one set. And that's why this, is, this has considerable stability. So the case of uh, aguline is one of the few non-benzenoid hydrocarbon that appear to have appreciable aromatic stabilization. Now this is aguline. This, in this aguline, if you keep, if you just polarize one double bond, then this will make automatically one cycloheptatrienyl system and the closer to it, that is fused cyclopentadienyl system. And agiline does have an appreciable dipole moment in the ground state, that is 0 0.8 dBi. A is the dipole moment of this unit. And this is the different bond length of the given compound, XRD and reluctant diffraction methods. Now, naphthalene and agiline. Now, see, how, will, how should we contrast the naphthalene and agiline? Now, naphthalene, uh, Naphthalene is uh, 4 n plus 2 planar and aromatic. Both these compounds are there. And this is the naphthalene, uh, regenerating structure of these two naphthalene units. And here we have this aguline. So when, when, when in this compound, now the B charge part, hai vaha, that is one is making the cycloheptatrienyl cation, another is cycloheptadienide anion. So this is the derubilized frame. And that's why these compounds are, both compounds are aromatic. Now, the best structure for any given polycyclic molecule is the one with the maximum number of benzene-like ring. Best structure of any given polycyclic molecule is the one with the maximum number of benzene-like rings. According to this concept, the two rings in naphthalene are identical, but less aromatic than benzene ring. What we were discussing about here, what we were discussing in this case, how um, uh, 2 plus 2 has to be 4 for naphthalene. It has to be 6 for anthracene and 8 for naphthacene, but it's not the case. So in this molecule, here, here it says that uh, uh, these two rings, the external ring in francine, uh, but less aromatic than this, the external ring in francine are more aromatic than the central ring, uh, whereas the central ring is more aromatic in anthracene. Now we have the, these different structures, these different structures. Naphthalene, whether you write it this way, left hand or right hand, it doesn't matter because it will give rise to the complete aromaticity of at least one ring. But in the case of phenanthrene, in case of phenanthrene, you, you have the option. That you can aromatize the external rings or you can aromatize the central ring. So the, when external rings are getting aromatized, then it has larger resonance energy contribution in comparison when the central ring is aromatized. Uh, like in the case of this anthracene unit, anthracene, we have this side ring because it will be availed by only only two rings, fused two rings. Just the bagal wala hai, wahi isko share karega. The tisra ring hai, wo isko share nahi kar paega. So the central, if the central ring is aromatized, then it has more aromatic contribution in comparison to the when it is sidewise. So this is the thing. Now, conjugated hydrocarbons incorporated exocyclic double bonds. In the case of conjugated hydrocarbons incorporating exocyclic double bond, that is the double bond that is outside the ring. Uh, so this is the case of trifulvene. This is the case of trifulvene. Uh, in this trifulvene, if the double bond, exocyclic double bond, is shifted in such a fashion that it makes cyclopropene cation, that will give rise to aromaticity. And that's why trifulvene is has favorable dipole regenerating structure, dipolar regenerating structure. Similar is the case with fulvene, where the ring acquires, the ring, ring carbon acquires a 
negative charge, making it cyclopentadienidenine, and this CS2 plus is there. Similarly, in the case of heptafulvene, we have this uh, tropelium cation and this CS2 minus. So they are dipolar. They are dipolar molecules that um, in the ground state they can be dipolar. They have the, they will have the dipole moment, uh, and this dipole moment must be due to the aromatic uh, ring being formed at one part. Now, like the case of uh, trifulvene, trif trifulvene. In the case of trifulvene, we can we can uh, we can form only one cyclopropene cation, only one cyclopropene cation, and another will be anti-aromatic four pi system. So this also exists in a dipolar form. So pentafulvene in the same case pentafulvene, only one cyclopentadienide will be formed. Another will be uh, four pi system. That is anti-aromatic four pi system. Here also we can have only one. Uh, cycloheptatrienyl cation and one uh, cycloheptatrienide anion that is 8 pi system that is anti aromatic. So, calicine, in the case of calicine, it is a very good example of um, stability that is dipolar stability. And see the stability of the calicine derivative where we have the all pH group is there and this 6.3 uh, divide that is it, it makes cyclopentadienide anion. And this anion is further delocalized in the pH ring, that is the ring, benzene ring, and consequently making or giving rise to a hell number of a lot of lot of resonating structures. And uh, another unit is cyclopropene cation. This is further stabilized by the presence of benzene ring, and this is very much stabilized compound and it's a very very highly dipolar 6.3 uh, uh, divide. And here also we have this um, cyclo cyclopentadienyl cyclopentadienide anion part and cyclopentadienyl cation part. So this is the dipolar, dipolar they, may, they exist in, these had the conjugated hydrocarbon having exocyclic double bond, they exist in the dipolar regenerating structure uh, on account of relative stability of both or at least one of the ring due to aromaticity. Now we have uh, another uh, heteroaromatic systems that is the having the uh, uh, heteroatom of the five membered compound five membered compounds are found to be somewhat less stabilized than benzene with resonance energy in the range of 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 of that of benzene now magnetic and polarizability criteria put the order of aromaticity as thiophene followed by pyrrol and followed by furan now, what is the rationale that uh, we see the stabilization energy? Stabilization energy for thiophene is 43. Niche wale diagram mein, it is 43. And uh, this is the uh, stabilization energy for pyrrol is 40. And for furan is uh, 27. And that's why the order that thiophene is uh, highly aromatic out of these five member ring. And uh, see the case of benzene is 45.8 standard kilocalorie per mole that is the stabilization energy at a heat of formation calculation uh, on the basis of heat of formation calculation that is 45.8 so um, uh, thiophene why thiophene is uh, most aromatic out of these heterocycle is because um, sulfur is a bigger atom bigger molecule so the bond constituting the uh, this angle that is carbon carbon sulfur carbon carbon sulfur angle both sides this is largely flanked this is not pentavalent that is the pentavalent uh, structure the interfacial angle is not exactly 120 it's a distorted 120 type it's a very less than 120 and that's why sulfur provides a releases some angle strain and that's why sulfur provides maximum delocalization and that's why thiophene is said to be most uh, aromatic out of these Furan and pyrrol, and that's why this is the case. Now, see the case of pyridine. Pyridine is very much closer to uh, benzene. Now, in the case of pyridine, pyridine, this this is having an azomethane unit. See, azomethane unit. Methane means CH and double bond N. This is the unit. Azomethane unit. Now, wherever we have the azomethane unit, they the nitrogen lone pair do not contribute its lone pair, uh, nitrogen lone pair do not go for aromatic stabilization. 
wherever azomethine azomethine unit is there now see the case of uh, azomethine unit in the pyrimidine both nitrogen are azomethine because ch double bond n this unit is there in pyrazine this is also azomethine both nitrogen are azomethine in uh, in uh, this um, pyridazine in this pyridazine at least one at least one uh, is um, azomethine and this triazine it's all all nitrogen are all nitrogen are uh, azomethine unit so this azomethine unit uh, so this the order of this stability that is the uh, structure isoelectronic with benzene because nitrogen is equivalent to ch that is the c plus h is equal to 7 6 plus 1 7 and nitrogen 7 that's why this is isoelectronic so uh, so we have this order that is stability order that uh, we have this triazine is very much stabilized stabilization energy and followed by this group now i have designed some problem it's not designed it's taken from the book uh, these three problems are there but first we should discuss something uh, is there any problem anywhere then we can repeat it sir uh, uh, firstly uh, uh, very much thanks for such a wonderful and very interesting lecture today and meri awaaz aa rahi sir ab tak ha ha aa rahi aa rahi ho वो वो मुझे वो दिन याद आ गया सर जब आप 2000 2002 3 में जब पढ़ते थे पिथौरागढ़ में आपसे मुझे वो चीजें रिकॉल हो रही हैं बहुत अच्छा और हमारे जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं आपको बताना चाह रहा हूं कि टुडे वी हैव हाईएस्ट नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट 180 अप्रोक्स एंड काफी इंटरेस्टिंगली स्टूडेंट ने लेक्चर को सुना है और बहुत सारे अच्छे कमेंट भी हमें चैट बॉक्स में दिख रहे हैं कुछ दो चार क्वेरीज स्टूडेंट की है सर जो मैं आपसे शेयर करूंगा ताकि स्टूडेंट को इससे फायदा मिल जाए तो कुछ एक आरती क्वेश्चन पूछती है हाउ कैन वी फाइंड ट्रांस इन एनिलुइन लाइक मॉलिक्यूल एक तो ये क्वेश्चन है इसका एनिलुइन में सिस एंड ट्रांस को हाउ वी कैन फाइंड सिस एंड ट्रांस इन एनिलुइन लाइक मोलिक्यूल्स एनिलुइन लाइक मोलिक्यूल्स में सिस ट्रांस को कैसे आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं बताता हूँ Uh, see the case of decalin suppose the case of we have the case of decalin now decalin okay. can be cis fused or it can be trans fused okay but in the case of anulin i just gave you one example i have shown one slide here where we call it syn3 and nt3 uh kahan chala gaya abhi dikha raha hu abhi dikha raha hu i have just discussed this right. is the case of anulin this is the case of very much the case of anulin this slide right right Syn3. This is the monocyclic part. Monocyclic part. It has the four pi, fourteen pi electron system. Three, two, five, two, seven. That is fourteen pi electron system. And this anulin, this is the trans annular hydrogen interaction. The Van der Waal induced trans annular hydrogen interaction has been has been put off by replacing right. it with one right. methylene group. By one methylene group. So we are locking two hydrogen by some methylene group. दोनों यदि सेम साइड हुआ तो वो सिस फ्यूज हो गया और एक ऊपर हुआ एक पीछे हुआ तो वो ट्रांस फ्यूज हो गया तो सिस और ट्रांस का पैरलेंस एनुलिन में यही है यदि एनुलिन डेरिवेटिव्स जब हम लेते हैं देन वी कैन से दैट वन टू वन टू फ्यूज्ड डेकालिन्स वन टू फ्यूज डेकालिन तो इन द केस ऑफ वन टू फ्यूज डेकालिन व्हाट वी हैव द दैट इफ द फ्यूजन इन द साइक्लोहेक्सेन मॉलिक्यूल इफ द फ्यूजन इज फ्रॉम एक्सेल एंड इक्वेटोरियल ब्रॉन्ड then it is said to be cis fused and if it is from diaxial or diequatorial diaxial since it is not possible the diequatorial fusion has to be there and this leads to the trans decalin what is a digit figure so this is the discussion uh, if you if you put it in the bridged fashion or if you put it uh, put it in a anulin fashion then anulin may sin or nt ka jo parallelance hoga wo yahi hoga ha huh. right right sir सर एक और इससे रिलेटेड एक क्वेश्चन है कि व्हाई एजिलिन इज एरोमेटिक ये पूछता है स्टूडेंट एजिल यहां यहां यही बताया था अभी इस स्लाइड को फिर से मैं देखता हूं ठीक है यहां पे इस रिलेटेड था नेक्स्ट स्लाइड में है अभी दिखा रहा हूं हां ये देखो आई आई हैव कंट्रास्टेड नेफ्थलीन एंड एजिलिन नेफ्थलीन में नेफ्थलीन में वी हैव शोन द डीलोकलाइजेशन ऑफ द कैपुले फॉर्मेट एंड इन द केस ऑफ एजिलिन This is the this is the what, what is the name of this compound? Like one, two, three, four, five. 
that is 53530 530 530 bicyclo right. 530 okay now this compound the total hydrocarbon will be there and the double bond placement will be there so if you if you place one one negative child one if you polarize one of the double bond then it will constitute one one regenerating structure in which it will make cyclopentadienide structure that is fused with cycloheptatrienyl anion cation and both these right. formats are having six pi electron and hence this is bipolar also and this is aromatic also. right तो यही एक आध क्वेश्चन है सर और थैंक यू वेरी मच अब मैं अपने स्कूल डायरेक्टर प्रोफेसर पीडी पंसा जी से अनुरोध करता हूं कि सर को एक्नॉलेज करें एक मैं एक मैं थोड़ा एक ये जो प्रॉब्लम है मैं थोड़ा इसको डिस्कस करना चाह रहा था जो प्रॉब्लम हमने लिया है जी 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 अच्छा अच्छा ठीक ठीक ये प्रॉब्लम था द रिलेटिव uh, can be measured by studying the strength of hydrogen bonding with a hydrogen donor such as phenol. The K EQ for the equilibrium constant for one one complexation of the following substituted cyclo uh, cyclo knowns was determined. And what conclusion we can derive? Now, here equilibrium constant for the first compound that is cyclopentanone. Uh, cyclopentanone, your uh, five member ring may ketone hai. Double bond ke saath, that is 6.2 cycloheptinone heptatriene uh, triene double bond hai. So, yahan pe ye 13.2 hai, or cyclopropene wale me ye 83.2 hai, or yahan pe 117 wale me ye cyclopropene wale me ye 117. So, iska kya rational ho sakta? I am just giving a clue because if you polarize the carbonyl carbon carbonyl bond on uh, through electromagnetic effect, that is. Uh, uh, that is, uh, the oxygen is more electronegative. That's why the pi electron is delocalized or will be polarized towards the oxygen atom, resulting into the formation of the plus charge over the ring. So the plus charge is very much stable in in all both cyclopropene and the cycloheptatrienyl, but it is not stable in the case of cyclopentadiene, and that's why its equilibrium constant is, is not that stabilized, and that's why 6.2. It's very low, very low uh, um, uh, formation of this equilibrium constant. Now, uh, here in the case of tertiary butyl group, when we have two tertiary butyl group, they are hysterically so much bulky that they they are giving rise to. They are flanked by so their strain is also compensated, and that's why cyclopropene cation formed by this this compound is very much stabilized, very much aromatic. And that's why it is easily formed. And 117 is the equilibrium constant. You can correlate it by this. Now, hydrocarbon, this hydrocarbon has an unusually small separation of its oxidation and reduction potential, as established by electrochemical measurement. It is both easily reduced and easily oxidized. Both mono and dication and mono and dianion can be readily formed. Now, this compound is also discussed to be discussed on the basis of. Uh, cascading aromatic stabilization or the formation of different regenerating structure, you can do it on your own. The barrier of rotation for this marked bond, ND, this compound, this compound major barrier of rotation, there, it's only very low as only 14 kilocalorie per mole. And this also due to aromatic uh, stabilization uh, because if you polarize the middle bond, locking bond, then uh, in the fashion that it makes cycloheptatrienyl cation. And this is the here anion. This anion will ultimately go to the benzenoid, this O minus phenolate ion. Ho ye. And that's why this double bond, although it is looking appearing as to be a uh, double bond, it's very much has a uh, single bond character. And uh, on account of having a single bond character due to aromaticity, it, 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 will, it will have the uh, decreased barrier of rotation around the carbon carbon bond. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, 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 okay, very good evening, everyone. Or Sarko Bhat Danivat, a Bhati delightful or informative in informations Kelly, though our student could definitely benefit Karega or 
और सबसे अच्छी बात है विद इन ए टाइम फ्रेमवर्क आपने कंप्लीट किया दैट इज वन ऑफ द अचीवमेंट फॉर एवरी स्पीकर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दैट और आपने हमारे इसको असाइनमेंट दिए आई होप दे विल दे कूड अंडरस्टैंड इट एंड दे विल डेफिनेटली डू सम एक्सरसाइज बिफोर द फाइनल प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम और सर हम आपको ट्रेवल देते रहेंगे जब भी हम आपको जरूरत होगी आपको बिल्कुल परेशान करते रहेंगे सर आई होप यू विल स्पेयर दिस टाइम फॉर अस थैंक यू आपको सर फिर से नमस्कार थैंक यू वेरी मच so you have to complete all these activities in single notebook everyone is asking again and again uh, we have to uh, make uh, different different uh, notebooks but you have to make only single notebook in which you have to complete your all assignments for all days and thank you very much sir we have one more lecture from your side also that is scheduled we'll see you again thank you thank you sir okay thank you thank you so much sir, thank you very much sir Thank you, Babu. Now meeting is over. Thank you. Thank you, sir.